Hello everyone, and welcome back to Turtle Rock Animal Orphanage, where we are finally, slowly but surely, becoming a bastion of, of a haven of success for all of our animals and not a cesspool of, you know, actual disease and disaster. <gasps> no way, did we just catch the horses mating? Oh my gosh, you guys! You guys! I think we just caught the, the Przewalskis of wild horses actually thinking about making us some of the foals that I am so excited about. I cannot wait to see the little foals! Oh, I'm sorry you two. Like, they even like wiggled into these trees for a little bit of privacy and I'm just like crashing in, zooming in, taking pictures. Uh, carry on, carry on. Oh my gosh, did you see that nose? <laughs> Oh, that was really cute. That was so cute. I can't even see how they're doing and do a checkup on them because they are hiding inside of these mysterious trees. Thank you very much. Might as well give them a name for this. Oh, wouldn't that be so cute <gasps> to just give like a little patch of not even a whole forest, but just a small patch of the trees a name? Oh my gosh, I am so totally going to start doing that for the areas around our home. Like, the, the trees the doves perch in are just going to be known as, like, Dove Perch Grove. And maybe the trees outside of my window will have, like, the special name of, like, I don't know, Series Green Screen or something. <laughs> Oh, that would be so much fun. Oh, dang it. But unfortunately, uh, wait, were they just grooming? Never mind. It was Christy and Cyber Queen. That was just some grooming going on that was not mating. Ah, oh, all right, that's fine. That's fine. Besides, I'm sure that these guys really are waiting for us to be able to put them out into the vast open fields full of these new flowers where they can go ahead and enjoy the beauty of being able to just run on an open field for being able to raise their foals. So we're definitely going to make that happen. I also want to, I think I want to move them maybe down here because there's just this huge open area that I think would be really good for the horses. We might have like this curved into like a talk zone so people can maybe have a double-sided talk zone over here. If it's popular enough, we could even put some seating in. Uh, what else is over here? Let's actually come back. What is like this area called? Does this have a name? Just the conservation tunnel, like nature tunnel. No, 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 no. We need to like name this whole section. We need to give it some sort of cool work zone name. And let's double check what it actually has. Oh gosh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, okay, let's do, let's do Friedrich. Is that, is that how we do this? I want to, I want to come down on, let's see. Is it explore? Is that, oh yeah, it's explore. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna get down on the ground with everybody here so we can kind of see the world from their point of view. We've got uh, the little restroom over here. It's also very crowded. Maybe people could use... Oh, those look really delicious. They've got cupcakes. Oh my gosh, they've got cupcakes over here. All right, so we've got cupcakes being sold. We've got some water bottles. We've got these beautiful, beautiful plants. I'm sure we could use that building as... Is this just like an empty building? because I'm sure we could use this as like a keeper station. It is indeed just an empty building. Oh my gosh, you actually climb on it when we're in explore mode. <gasps> what is this? Trash in my my wonderful like rescue? I don't think so. All right, we've got hats. We have, wow, we've got like a lot of sugary things. Do we have like a good salad for anybody? I feel like we should be selling salad as well. Uh, we've got a broken down machine that I can see in the distance. Well, that's that's not great. We could possibly put a small... Oh, okay, that's fine. Hello. Hello. Yes, apparently I can scale up the walls like a little monkey. Uh, we've got this beautiful spot over here. I think this area would serve very well as potentially a great location to put um, some more exhibit spots or maybe some picnic benches so that people can go ahead and have a nice little seat over here. It's very scenic. They've also got a spot to drink juice. But there's not a lot of animals on this side to really attract people over here. So with that in mind, uh, habitat is at risk of disease again. Which, oh, it's this habitat. <laughs> oh no, oh, I see. Well, I don't think the animals can drink from up here. So I think we'll be okay there. But we do need some more poop scooping. Did we have a flamingo born? We had a flamingo born! What? 
<laughs> a gold star flamingo, no less. Oh my gosh, that escalated very quickly. Let's go ahead and name the happy family. Also, we have a, another peafowl about ready to go ahead and lay her eggs. Like, what is going on? All right, you guys. Well, let me pull up the random comment generator with your guys' comments from the previous video so we can toss some of you into here. Why you would want that to happen only shows how brave and bold you are, my friends, <laughs> to want to come and join. But the first thing that actually popped up is Lucius and Napua. How cool that you actually are also from Hawaii. I was born in California. I was raised in Texas. I've only been to Hawaii once, but I do want to go back hopefully in the next year. Chips and I still haven't had our honeymoon. <laughs> All right, let's name you Lucius. There we go. But I would like to go back so I could just really, oh, look at the new babies. Really kind of see some of my family that I didn't get a chance to see while we were there last time too. So that would be really exciting. Oh, I love listening to all the peafowl just clucking about. All right, so I do want to name those flamingos. <laughs> Let me come in and while I'm, I'm still thinking about them, we'll name the flamingos. The male is going to be named Benny. And Benny, I'm so glad that you are enjoying our adventures. And then we have got Hannah. Hey. Oh, Hannah. Oh, my gosh. You just graduated from nursing school. Congratulations. I didn't even make it through nursing school. Mostly because we moved and, like, they wanted, like, something like $25,000 a semester for me to go to the nursing school that I got into. Because they're, like, out-of-state student awesome and i was like oh, i'm just gonna wait a year until i'm in state tuition before going here <laughs> and then uh, i ended up finding youtube and the rest is history so i am so happy that you my friend were able to make it through nursing school it is heckin hard also let's come in and we're gonna have daisy what a lovely name now we're <gasps> christy oh oh my gosh we actually have some Przewalski horse falls possibly on the way. This is a little bit more like active and dramatic than I was expecting to be completely honest. Oh, that's much more aggressive head rubs. Okay, okay. There's also way too much poop in here. Dang it, and Christy is not pregnant. Oh, all right. Well, there's a lot of poop in here that's making me really unhappy about the whole poop situation. We do seem to have, I swear we have enough keepers. I think that they're just having to be scattered about. So let's go ahead and assign one of our keepers just to like permanent poop scooping in this zone. And let's actually start naming some of our work zones properly. All right, new work zone. We're going to have this one. And I think, so there's a surgery over here, but there is not really like any food prep or anything for the animals. So we'll put in like a food prep spot as well. Um, and we're gonna possibly have like a couple more habitats over here. I'm kind of thinking I should move the Przewalskis like over here. Cause I know I said I wanted to put them over here, but we can always plant more, more flowers. That's definitely going to happen. You don't need to worry about us adding more flowers. Trust me, that's gonna happen. Um, so I think I wanna move them over here maybe so they can run up the hillside. That's kind of what it was like when we were at the San Diego Zoo and it, like when we were at the San Diego Safari Park, pardon me, that is where you could look up and there were just Przewalskis on a hill and it was really cool. Uh, plus that would keep them closer to the stable. And then, yeah, we'll put in some like food making buildings over here as well. Maybe we'll have this spot kind of be for guests to come and get some food and maybe to show off like a big garden we could have over here to go with Olivia's olive orchard. Oh, look at us. We're really starting to think about things. So we're actually going to call this the like, hmm, the open plains. Maybe the the vast, let's see, wide open. I want to give it like a meadow name, to be honest. So we're going to go ahead and, oh, hello. Clee, you actually have a fun name for one of our horses. A male, actually. Well, we don't have a male horse at the moment, but I can make this Attila's, uh, Attila's Meadow. We're going to go with Attila's Meadow. And Attila would be a great name for 
one of our horses for sure. All right, before we smack a keeper in here and we tell them to stay and scoop poop for the rest of forever, we are going to need to have a spot for them to go ahead and rest. So what have we unlocked already? That keeper hut. The new world keeper huts are just really actually fitting in pretty well here. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. Nature staff room. Lovely. Kind of expensive. We're, we're going to keep it a little simpler than that for now. Um. And then, yeah, I think we'll put the staff rooms over on this side. There we go. Yeah, we'll put the staff rooms over on this side for now. I actually think I should turn it. Yeah, we should turn it like this because I have a feeling we're going to kind of be pushing into Olivia's Olive Orchard just a bit. There we go. So we'll have a new keeper hut. And then do we have another spot for everybody to rest? Staff room. I like the the not yurt yurts. The jungle room's cool, but not appropriate for like... Yeah, the nature staff room is pretty cool, but I like the not yurt yurts. Like there's just something kind of fitting about that theme here. So we're just going to go with that one. And then maybe leave a little bit of room for like research and maybe just to put a cute little farm because I think that'd be adorable. All right. There we go. Just one little chunk. And then we'll connect it all up. Excellent, excellent. Hey, that's not so bad. <laughs> I actually made it semi-decent this time. Whoops, and then let's come back over to Atelier's Meadow. Haha, -ha! and now we're gonna get that poop scooped because let's grab another one of our fantastic staff members. And we're going to grab this unnamed staff member who's super exhausted. And we're going to rename them as soon. Let me grab them first. Cleaning the goose poop. Okay, we're actually going to wait for her to finish cleaning the goose poop. But this is actually going to be a Mandy. And Mandy, how fitting. Because you are definitely a horse lover. And you have been a member of our community and now our Patreon for quite a long a while. So we're actually going to have this horse lover Mandy. There we go. And we're going to move you over after you finish helping to scoop all of this not goose peacock poop. Well, pea fowl, I should say. We shouldn't blame Lucius for all of this. Uh, but we're actually going to move her, horse lover Mandy, way over towards where she's supposed to be in just a minute here. Hopefully, like, she's been hauling a lot of poop, to be honest. But hopefully she can go ahead and get some rest. So let's scoop. And plonk. Do you want it? Do you want to get some rest? Yay! All right, you're getting some rest. And then let's actually turn the staff perks. Look, we just need like we're gonna give you health care because <laughs> we need people to get a little bit more boost because uh, things are busy. Ooh, and we could actually name the staff room. Nice. I'm gonna do that so we can try to get as many of your guys' comments as possible. Cause that would be so fun. Oh, Froggy! Oh, Froggy, I hope that all of your family gets to feeling better. I always love reading your guys' comments when this pops up and just like seeing how your guys' life is going. Uh, let me go ahead. Yeah, do we have names on? We do have names on all of the horses for now and no sign, unless I just missed it, of Foals incoming. But Froggy, we're gonna have you have uh, Froggy's Yurt. There we go. And you're going to be right over here. In fact, we're actually going to, like, if this is going to be a healing spot, I'm going to call this Froggy's Secret uh, Garden. Yes! And we're going to put a whole bunch of gardening things around here. That's going to be delightful. And then this is actually going to be Froggy's, um, Froggy's Veggie uh dispensary that would be really funny to have like a veggie dispensary froggy's veggie delivery service i love that it's so much more fun when you actually like name the facilities because then it gets a lot more exciting all right we're gonna rename 
Because it makes everything more personable. Like when you work somewhere, people aren't like, oh, go to break room six. They're like, go to the donut room or something. Though I've never worked anywhere where there were like donuts. <laughs> That's never happened. I've never worked anywhere where they gave me a break room. Unless you count like the tiny little stuffed office I used to be in shoved in when I was a CNA. Don't know if I would count that one. Ooh, and this actually has a nice big lake. Is that nice and clean? It is indeed. I think this would make a really lovely spot for our Prisvoltskis. So we do have glass. How do we want to do this, friends? I love the deep. Yeah, I, I love the way that they did the deep layer to, to the soil so that we didn't just stare straight at a fence. So let's try to repeat that. And we're gonna repeat it, leaving this alone. Yeah, we'll, we'll start right here. But let's get nice and deep so that the Przewalskis are not gonna jump. And then we'll carry on. There we go. And we'll fill it up with ferns, which I think was definitely an inspired choice. Whoever was like, how are we going to go ahead and keep the animals from escaping? Oh, I know, we'll just dig a gigantic ditch and fill it with ferns. Mwah. Oh, that, that was inspired. I think that was quite brilliant. And we can actually have the path connect over here to the habitat gate, which I think is also pretty inspired. Thank you very much. All right. And then, here we go. We'll come up along the back. And we'll, we'll hide these like behind trees. Well, there's the thing about the stuffy is that there are not a lot of trees. That's kind of the thing that defines a, a step environment is that it's pretty darn like devoid of trees um they also did all right let's come in how did they handle the fencing once you came over on this side oh the whole thing is surrounded by the moat hmm i think we'll just have the moat thing kind of come this way and then loop around whoops and then we'll have to put in some big old rocks so we don't have some little tippy tap hooves sneaking out the side and we should be good. Famous lost words. I have a feeling <laughs> we're about to have a lot of like, Siri, why did you think that would work? It is not working. You have just doomed your entire facility. Yes, well, I'm doing my best. All right, let's see. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Chips is gonna be so impressed when he comes back, you guys. He's gonna be so surprised at what we have pulled off with being able to build such a lovely facility. Thank you very much. And we're gonna connect this. Ha ha, oh my gosh, I think we can actually just get ready to throw the horses in here. Just uh, add a few rocks. Whoops, oh, that's more than a few. <laughs> um, let's try that again. <laughs> let's add a few rocks, eh? And then we will move the horses in. Oh, and we need to get a researcher researching about them because I want to see the Przewalskis playing with whatever enrichment items they would really enjoy. Uh, for those of you guys who do work with horses, what are their favorite enrichment items? Like things that they really love. Um, one horse I knew really, really, really loved playing with bells. Like any, any time anytime like we had we like you know how dog toys will sometimes have that strip of leather with a bunch of bells on it uh his caretaker had that set up for him over the edge of his stall and he just had a grand time yanking it and tossing it around like a little puppy so i would love to know like what you guys have seen the horses if you have any horses in your life which is a shocking amount of our community, actually. <laughs> but what you have seen them just enjoy playing with. The other thing I see all the time that horses seem to just go gaga for seems to be balls. But then I've also seen horses who are like terrified of balls. So it seems to go both ways. All right. 
All right, is that secure enough? I think it's secure enough. Famous last words repeated once more. Let's go ahead and add this into the meadow and then we will have ourselves a brand new area for our lovely Przewalskis to enjoy. Also, I keep calling them Przewalskis this time, but I am trying to get my, my verbiage changed to call them the Taki from now on which I don't know if I'm pronouncing right, but I am doing my best. All right, and this is actually going to be, in fact, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna call this Taki Fields or Taki Plains. There we go. To try to help reiterate those valuable lessons that we have now learned about uh, going ahead and calling animals after the names of the people who actually live near them. Yes. There we go. And while we wait for all of those lovely ones to get moved, give me these ferns. Give me, no, just the ferns. <laughs> Give me more of the ferns. Yes! <laughs> that is what I want. Give. Yes, look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh dear. Okay, they're a little pricey, but nobody ever said that plants were cheap. Anyone who's into house plants knows that that's a, a dirty lie. <laughs> I need to get so many things to save my succulents. If you guys ever, if you ever have any mercy in your heart, never give a succulent into my care because I will smother it to death with water and Chips will just be shaking his head at me going, I told you. Um, so yeah, if you, if you have any mercy in your hearts for plants, don't give me a succulent because it won't make it. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. We're actually gonna have a vlog over on the vlog channel soon of Siri attempting to save her poor, sad, bedraggled string of bananas. I may have drowned it, but I'm gonna try to fix it. Oh no, the water treatment has failed. Are we gonna end up with all the disease all over again? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's literally the place we need not to fail to. Oh, oh well. All right, one, two, three, four, yes! Okay, you guys, here we are. Kofed and all of his lovely herd have been moved in. We can really start giving them the absolute best that Turtle Bay Animal Orphanage has to offer. And we'll start transforming this and hopefully attracting people over here to admire the very pretty, pretty, pretty Taki very soon. So if... Ooh, ooh, yes! Oh my gosh, are we gonna get a full? Are we gonna get a full? Are we gonna get a full? Come on, come on, come on. Yes! We have a full on the way! Woo! Go, Cyber Queen! Go, Cyber Queen! I am so excited about that. Oh my gosh. But all right, guys! Full! Incoming! Very exciting! It's gonna be born June of year nine. Oh, wow. <laughs> we might need to speed that up a little for excitement's sake. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so cute. That's so cute. But all right, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for the beautiful brand new field we have for our snoozy wild horses. And if you'd like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.